Hi, in this video, we're going to solve this recursion formula. So we have x sub 1 equal to 1, and then x sub n plus 1 equal to n plus 1 over n all times x sub n. To find basically a formula for x sub n, let's go ahead and go through it very carefully. Solution. So we'll start by writing down the first term. So this is x sub 1, and that's equal to 1. And now x sub 2 figure this out, we're going to use this formula over here. Note that when there's a two here, that means that n is equal to one because one plus one is two. So in this particular case, n is one. So we get one plus one over one, one plus one over one times x sub one. But x sub one is just one from before. So this is going to be two over one times one, which is equal to two. And basically, we're going to continue doing this until we find a pattern. Let's look at x sub 3. So x sub 3, again, 3 is taking the place of n plus 1. This means that n is equal to 2 in this case. So we're going to put a 2 here where all the n's are. So it'll be 2 plus 1 over 2 times x sub 2. But we know what x sub 2 is. It's 2 from before. So this is going to be 3 over 2 times 2. 2's cancel and we get 3. You notice that a pattern is starting to develop. We have a 1 here and a 1 here, a 2 here and a 2 here, a 3 here and a 3 here. So you could guess that x sub 4 is equal to 4. Let's go ahead and just make sure that's correct. So x sub 4 is equal to, again 4 is taking the place of n plus 1, so in this case n is equal to 3. This will be 3 plus 1 over 3. 3 plus 1 over 3, and let's skip a step now. We know that this is going to be x sub 3, but x sub 3 is equal to 3. So this is 3. They cancel, you get 3 plus 1 equals 4, etc. So it's pretty clear now that we have a formula. We have that x sub n is equal to n, and this formula is valid for n greater than or equal to 1. That would be the solution to this particular problem. I hope this video has helped someone who's learning to solve recursion formulas. Good luck.